Okay, my YouTube people. I had somebody ask me a question, and the question goes like this. I crashed and rolled a couple of times after it happened. I had nothing. It blew a 40 amp fuse. I got everything working, but I had no spark. And when I turned the switch on, the right turn signal started blinking. Low beam did not work, and fog lights did not work. Everything else works. Starter button cranks. It kills switch. Works. Burger alarm works. But I have no fire. Please, can you help me? This is from Chopper Hodges. Some punctuation helps because sometimes it's hard for me to understand. But here goes. I got the wiring diagrams off of Harley's website. They have them on there for most of the bikes these days. This is a 2004 Road King. The way this works is a little different depending on whether you have a carbureted or a fuel injected bike. I'll show you both variations of this. First we're going to take a look at the fuel injected bike. If you don't have spark and your coil's good, there's a few things that you should be checking that could dial you in on what the problem is. The first thing I would check is this ECM power fuse. You also have a system relay and I would check that too. You have four wires on that bike. You have a yellow green on A, you have a gray blue on B, you have a yellow blue on C, and you have a blue orange on D. This gray B that goes in on B is called an ion sense. I believe that's to light a check engine light if your spark plugs are bad. That goes straight into the computer. But what you really want to check is on A, you should have 12 volt power. When you turn the power switch on, 12 volts to A. That 12 volts also goes to your injectors. Now, I have a video, and I'll include it up in the upper right-hand corner for this video, of how ignition systems work. But essentially, to get spark, you provide the ground wire. It's same with these injectors. When you want an injector to fire, you put a ground wire to it. It fires that injector, and then you lift the ground, and the injector stops firing. So with that being said, if you don't have 12 volts on A, then you're not going to get spark. The other thing is it's important is that there's a full 12 volts that you have a good battery because the computer's not going to want to work right if the battery's not good. C is the rear cylinder. You see that in green. And the orange is the front cylinder. If you have power on A, you can stick a ground wire to C, and then when you remove the ground, you should get spark, but only on the rear cylinder. So that's the first place I would check if I don't have a bark. So the power wire from the coil comes over and it splits off. This system start relay is what provides power to the ignition coil. Now what happens is you have a constant power wire. See on this computer it says constant power and that constant power wire comes over here to these contacts that for that relay. So you have constant power here and when this relay pulls in, pulls this side of it down and then puts power onto the here, and that's that power that goes over to the coil. It also puts power to your fuel pump, and that's the fuel pump fuse. But we're not worried about that. What we're worried about is this power here. The other thing we worry, need to worry about is this ECM power, because if you don't have power coming into the ECM, that constant power, then you won't get the power over here to the coil. So you have to follow this constant power back for the ECM. You check it right here at the fuse, that's an easy spot to check it. But if not, you follow that back and it comes into a connector and this says from the main harness, it's a red wire. And that main harness is number 8B. So if you're ready at your power switch on your dash, here's the battery. The battery hot comes over to the starter, goes through your max fuse, which is 40 amps, that comes down here to the middle terminal on your main power switch. Out of that switch, when you turn it on, you should have 12 volts. It should come out of the I terminal, and it comes over here to the ignition fuse. So you have to make sure that that fuse is good. Now that's a red-black wire that comes over to that ignition fuse. Out the other side is a gray wire. And if you follow that gray wire, it comes all the way over here to your right-hand controls. And that's the engine on off on your right hand controls. On, on the other side of that main power switch that's on the handlebars, there's a wire that comes off. Now one of those wires goes to the start switch. That other wire that comes down here is a white with a black tracer and it's on connector pin four. Now that one, it comes over here and it comes to number two on the ignition harness 
and that's harness 8A. So when we're looking at that 8A over here, that 8A here is general. If you have a fuel injected bike, it goes to 8B. But if you have a carbureted bike, it's 8A connector. But anyway, you come right here and you look at pin number two here and it's that same white black. That's that wire right there on pin number two. It comes over and it comes down here and that's what fires this system relay. So to summarize this, when you turn your ignition on, you put power, that power comes up to the handlebars. When you turn the switch on on your handlebars, that puts power to the system relay. When you have power to the system relay, it fires this relay and puts power over to the coil. It's that simple on a fuel injected bike. You just have to check power here. Now, if you have power here and you still don't have spark and your coil checks good, that's a computer issue because that's the only thing firing it. Then it's not getting the pulses from the computer. Now, what reasons could it not be getting the pulses? Well, there's quite a few. Maybe it's a bad ground. Maybe the computer wire is broken and you don't have power over the computer. Or maybe the crank position sensor is not providing the pickup signal in order to fire the computer. So then you have to start checking those parts. Now, let's talk about if it's a carbureted bike. It's the same situation. You get power onto the number two on that 8A and it's white black and that puts power over here to the coil. On the coil on a carbureted bike, you only have three wires. The orange is the front cylinder coil, the green is the rear cylinder coil, and that yellow is power. So when it is that it gets power on number two, it puts power to the coil, and then it puts power to your ignition control module. And then again, if you're not getting spark, it's probably an ignition control module issue or the ignition module is not getting the crank sensor. And this video is more about getting you started as to why you don't have any spark. If your bike's cranking, it sounds like your ignition switch is working and it also sounds like your switches on the handlebars are working properly. I would start by checking power at the coil regardless of what kind of bike you have. That should lead you in the right direction. You have any questions or problems, please leave them in the comments. Also, my email is hdrap underscore 1999 at yahoo.com. You can email me direct and email me with your phone number and I'll give you a call and help you over the phone if I can. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.